matter what you do, we gon' crawl to the pole. If you take away the mailbox, we still gon' crawl. If you take away the polling station, away from our community, we still gon' crawl. Live at the National Mall for the historic march on Washington, 57 years after Dr. Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. This year is especially important because of the recent uprisings we've seen around the country after the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and most recently the shooting of Jacob Blake in the back seven times. And on November 3rd, we head to the post to decide who becomes the next United States president. So a lot is at stake here. And I'm here to talk to the people, to see how they're feeling, to see how they're feeling about voting, about the people that they're going to be voting for, and about everything going on. Stay tuned. because I have a son myself that's getting older. He's 12 at right now. So I feel like history repeats itself. The same stuff has been going on and I want to make a safe environment or world for my son. We'll get out and vote this time. I think it's important, especially for black people to vote. This is something that we fought for for years. And now we have the option, why not? It'll make a difference. Um, I feel it's important to defend people who are in a less privileged position than myself. I'm disgusted, and saddened. I, I, um, I, I don't know. This just felt like the very least I could do was to come out here and protest. It's so incredibly important. This is one of the other reasons I came. I'm an immigrant. Um, I am not able to vote um, until next year, so. It's so important, if you're able to, do it. What's going on right now in the United States and basically around the world, that um, the Black Lives Matter has turned into a movement. The streets are going to be heard. It's just, it's more than a Black Lives Matter movement because if you look in the crowd, it's multicultural.